Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Boy, I uh, stirred up a hornet's nest when I showed everybody that I was installing Ubuntu on the computer that we're giving away to one of our first 10,000 YouTube subscribers. Uh, people freaked out. They said, wow, you're installing Ubuntu. And then more people started asking questions like, I want to install Ubuntu too. And then some people asked even deeper questions like, well, what if I just want to try Ubuntu and not really install it, but also install it so I can try it? And, and then, well, to answer that specific question, usually I say download a live CD version of any of your favorite Linux distributions, and then you could boot from the CD rather than from your hard drive, which is what normally happens when you restart your computer. And a live CD won't touch any bit of your hard drive, but it will still let you access the operating system as it loads from the CD into memory. It's kind of cool. We've talked about it before. Uh, but uh, we had a deeper question asked, uh, even deeper than that one, uh, about having Linux and Windows running side by side seamlessly. And so instead of me answering the question, I thought I would toss it over to Matt Hartley, uh, who has been writing for Locker Gnome, and has been writing the IT Professionals channel, as well as the Linux Fanatics channel. Uh, so he knows his stuff, that's for sure. In fact, he's even posted a few fixes uh, that he's discovered that no other community member for Ubuntu had found. Uh, and so he's he's got a bit of credibility behind him. So I usually listen to what he says, at least in respect to Linux and Ubuntu. So he was going to tell everybody about a, a product that could prove helpful, especially if you live in both worlds, in the world of Linux, or Ubuntu specifically, and Windows. Partly over here at Locker Gnome. Uh, I hear you have a question from a viewer that's interested in installing Ubuntu on their Windows machine, but doing it in such a way as to not, uh, let's say, mess with the master boot record or make it impossible to uninstall later should they decide that Ubuntu is not for them. I happen to have something that might work for him. Have him take a look at something called Wooby. Uh, if you actually either do a Google search or I can provide the link with the video, uh, Wooby is a fantastic Windows installer for Ubuntu. Now I know what you're thinking, how in the world would you possibly install Linux without running it on a virtual machine? As a matter of fact, you can do this and it's not that difficult to do because it truly is simply an executable. Download the application, get it on your desktop, double click it, go through about an hour's worth of installation time because frankly it is slower than a traditional install on CD. So if you have a dedicated machine, obviously that's the way to go. But if you're going to be sharing with Windows, this is definitely the path you want to take. Once that's installed, well, let me just show you rather than talking about it. Sorry if the uh, video is a little crooked there, but there's something I wanted to show you here. Now, if you look closely, I have already taken the liberty of installing the Wubi installer and of course Ubuntu by default, um, onto this Windows 2000 desktop machine. What's interesting is instead of looking at your general looking grub menu that half the time is going to throw errors up at you anyway, you can install Ubuntu onto your Windows desktop in such a way that it's not going to mess with your master boot record whatsoever. Here's what's fantastic. Much like a dual boot with Windows 98, Windows XP, or Windows XP and Windows ME or whatever two Windows operating systems you might want to dual boot, it's all right there for you. And uh, if I want to run Ubuntu, I simply select it from that menu right there. If I run, want to run my uh, Windows operating system, I can select it from there. Now for the interesting part. I'm going to show you how to remove Ubuntu from, win from within Windows itself without any extra hassle. It's no harder than add and remove. Check this out. As you can see here, we're looking inside a very raw installation of uh, Windows again. Uh, this is Windows 2000 Pro on one of my extra desktop machines. Um, a rather dated machine actually and quite loud if you happen to be hearing the uh, background noise there. But anyway, uh, if you look closely, we're looking at local disk C. And of course you have desk uh, documents and settings, program files, Windows NT, and Wubi. I click into Wubi. Well, it may be a little tough to see this here, so I'm going to try and zoom in here just a fuzz. But, actually, if I can just get to that uninstaller file, there we go. Now, if you look closely right here, this, right here, this little icon, this little Windows-based icon right there, is how you remove Ubuntu from this PC. 
That's absolutely right. You don't have to go and actually wipe the drive or any of this other nonsense to get rid of it should you find that Ubuntu is not a good match for you. You can actually uninstall it like a Windows program. Completely serious. I know it sounds wild, but it's crazy. Check this out. I'm going to show you the uninstallation process as I have already uh, <laughs> Uh, done the installation. Now, one thing that's interesting also is that when you get ready to uninstall Ruby, it gives you the option to back up your stuff should you uh, just be uninstalling due to needing to repair it or something. This is something I wish we saw more uh, available on a standard Ubuntu install, actually, but that's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and say no, I don't really want any of this backed up, and we'll go ahead and uninstall. And it uninstalls just like a standard Windows program. That was all there is to it. It's done. I'm going to hit finish, and now I'm going to restart my computer. Let's see what we come up with here. Wow, Windows 2000. Uh, as you probably are not seeing, um, at least not right away, it jumped right into Windows 2000. So Ruby, or Ubuntu, is uh, no longer installed on this machine. The installation time, expect it invest about an hour to an hour and a half depending on the speed of your machine. Again, this is not the live CD and is certainly not a typical Ubuntu install, so it does take a little longer. Removal? I would say approximately 30 seconds. That and of course the time it takes to reboot your computer and boot back into Windows. Is Ubuntu for you? That's going to be completely your decision and your choice. I would point out a couple things of course. One, uh, Ubuntu Linux is not Windows. Um, it shares very little with Windows, so expecting it to appear or react like Windows as far as program installation, network connection, and wireless support is frankly rather naive. You are installing a Linux operating system on a PC that was built for the Windows operating system. So when it comes in terms to compatibility, be sure to keep that in mind. All right, Chris, back to you. Thanks again, Matt. I really appreciate it. I, I appreciate the fact that you walked people through with that video. We'll be sure to uh, have a link for that video, uh, I guess, given out in our show notes, and I'll make sure that Kat, who helps me with those videos, sees that specific URL so it's cross-referenced, uh, so that if people want to see it up close, they can. Of course, the good thing is, is that Wooby uh, is available now, and someone, I believe, was asking about Wooby uh, compatibility with Vista if it's not already listed on the uh, website, or someone hasn't already answered that question, I think I'm going to give Wooby a shot here on my Vista install uh, after I get back from Germany. Sounds like the easiest way I could manage Ubuntu without messing with uh, the master boot record and all that claptrap. So uh, anyway, has anybody else had any good experiences with Wooby or know of a better way of experiencing Ubuntu uh, beyond a live CD or installing it to the hard drive using a utility like Wooby? Uh, I would have always also recommended using something like VMware. Uh, to uh, basically run the operating system in a virtual machine. That's another great way. But uh, always looking for a fun and fantastic opportunities to see what else that hardware is capable of. You might remember I was playing with Sabion Linux a while ago. Had all the eye candy in the world. But then again, Ubuntu is no slouch. That's for sure. Uh, anyway, uh, always interested in what you guys have to say. Leave a comment, remark, or whatnot. Or you're also welcome to email me any of the questions you might have. I'm not totally steeped in the world of Linux, uh, but I certainly do know people who are, so if you have a question specifically about Linux that's incredibly detailed or not a Surface question, I could definitely find a way to get that question answered. Of course, I know a bit about Windows and OS X, uh, and generally the internet, uh, in, but anyway, I'm always interested in learning more. So if you have information to share or if you have information that you've got questions on, by all means, email me, chris at perillo.com. You're also welcome to swing by the chat room anytime, day or night. And uh, even if I'm not paying attention or sitting in front of the screen, there are plenty of people who certainly are, and hopefully uh, they'll be able to answer your question. Uh, or, you know, as I said, you know, if you can get it to me, uh, send me a video mail or post it to YouTube, and I should see it at some point in the near future. Uh, I'd love to hear more from you. I'd love to meet you, at least virtually. Um, anyway, I will uh, let you go and uh, have at your new Linux installation with Wooby. And of course, I'm assuming you haven't already started that midway through this video. Uh, anyway, the chat room is available all the time at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.